Breaking things about alleged eyewitness encounters with extraterrestrials is the commonality of their appearance. These encounters are so widespread and the description so detailed that it's now possible to analyze these reports. We've broken them down into seven distinct categories. Now if, and remember it's a very big if, we are being visited by extraterrestrials, the galaxy may be more diverse than we can imagine. An all too common sight in our society is policemen arriving at the scene of a crime, trying to determine what happened. Often they call on forensic artists like Bill McDonald for help. Recently, Bill turned his artistry to another mystery, determining the identity of the alien creatures that millions believe walked this planet. First, he sifted through the eyewitness descriptions. Three to five feet tall. Big heads, big eyes. They look like flies in a way. White, iridescent sort of skin. It was green and had little hair on it. Perfect humanoids. From descriptions like these, Bill McDonald created composite sketches of alien beings. The illustrations I do are made specifically for scientific research and for publication, and the intent is to be as accurate to the witness descriptions as possible. Altogether, he's identified seven different types of aliens. The first category are the Roswell aliens. The Roswell aliens have a reptile-type texture to their skin. The eyes are very human, and they're Asian in character. The gray aliens are the next category, Reticulin sapien superior. You have a small race between 3 foot 5 and 4 foot 1 that act as a technician or worker class. They have the classic black eyes wrapping around the sides of their heads. The next category are the ancients. They look almost like giant praying mantises or uh, grasshopper insects. The eyes are uh, fully up to one-third the total mass of the head. The Nordics are very interesting because they're the most human appearing of all of the aliens. They appear to be slightly taller than us, extremely athletic in build. The females are extremely well endowed proportionally. The males are very, very gorgeous and are described as looking a lot like um, some of the models, like Fabio. The hybrids are extremely interesting and very varied. Some of the hybrids are proportionally like children with very fine hair. The reptilians seem to have like three toes instead of the normal five on their feet. And they seem very humanish in proportion, but they have larger than normal mouths and they have a very snake-like or lizard appearance. Some of the aliens, and it's interesting that the aliens in Close Encounters of the Third Kind looked a lot like this, seem to appear like fetuses and are proportionally like fetuses that are running around like small children, have a higher degree of intelligence, and operate in a technical capacity, if you will. Bill McDonald has no explanation for the variety of alien life he has cataloged, and his drawings stand as mute testimony to the ongoing UFO mystery. It's hard enough to imagine one kind of alien, but the idea of seven different alien species staggers the imagination. But let's say all these aliens are among us. Now comes the hard part. Why are they here? We'd all like an answer to that question.